see some green fentanyl. People have been dropping from this shit, but they just fuck off from me. You gotta be careful, right? Yeah, I know. Because if they see you filming, they might freak out and poke me up, eh? Were you hooked on drugs like many of the people? Did, yeah, crack. Crack or fentanyl or meth? No, just crack. I'm old school. How much friends you had die out here from fentanyl? Bro, I can't even count. Bro, bro I stopped counting at like four or five because <laughs> I, uh, I would urge anybody out there who who cares about what we, Why would what you... we stand for in Canada to, to get active. What up, y'all? Up here? Downtown, Chinatown, one of Edmonton's most drug-fueled neighborhoods. Homelessness, drugs everywhere. Let's do a hood walkthrough and I'll see what we can get ourselves in, y'all. Yeah? There you go, downtown Chinatown. Right, let's see what we can uh, get ourselves into, you know? <coughs> see down here, the news has been talking about this whole, this neighborhood all the time it's always on the news and they're trying to clean it up down here too much uh violence some some guy retired last year and some guy stabbed him up and a lot of, a lot of drugs a lot of uh, down here Hey brother, I'm just doing a vlog documenting the neighborhood. Do you guys, you mind telling me your story and about the neighborhood? If not, it's okay. I'll, I'll put the, I'd love to talk about the neighborhood. Yeah? Okay. Sure. Let's hear your story. I want to hear your neighborhood. I don't want to just hear what's on the news. I want to... Let's wait for this. Thing. I don't want to just hear what's on the news. I want to hear from the people in the neighborhood on the streets. Yeah. The people in this neighborhood are like a giant family. Yeah. This is true. Okay. We, we know each other by name. We care about each other. We stop and we uh, help each other in any uh, weather, any reason. Uh, there is not a person in this neighborhood who will not be missed should something happen. Okay. Right? Uh, Myself personally, if, if a friend of mine ends up in the hospital from this neighborhood, I, I like to go to the hospital and visit them. Yeah, okay. You know? I'm and sorry, I forgot your name. Up. We just got into so it. My, name, my name's Adam. Adam, yeah. okay. My name's Deezy. Deezy. Yeah, Pleasure local rapper of the community. Wonderful. Excellent. Yeah. I need that. I love that. Okay. That's great. Um, yeah, there's a lot of young talent out here in this neighborhood, as okay. a matter of fact. Okay. Yeah, if that's your, if that's your if, line there, man. Fucking keep yeah. up what you're doing, but, and I'll bet you <clears throat> you'll discover some really I'm trying talent. to just go to all the hoods of, like, Edmonton and hear from their yeah. their story and their... Yeah, and wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Is this like a TikTok sort, yeah. of, sort of thing? Yeah. Excellent. So Excellent. Have, have you lost any friends to... Drugs and fentanyl, we've been hearing about the fentanyl well, of epidemic. Course and all, of course, we all have. Uh, unfortunately, that's an unfortunate yeah. uh, side effect. Uh, however calculated it might be. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I equate it to uh, the crack epidemic in yeah. LA. Yeah. You know, years back, right? Decades ago. Or yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's hearsay. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, what's what's on these what's streets great, now? What's great? About, well, okay. What's on these streets? It's all the same old. You know, there's nothing really spectacularly new or yeah. anything like that. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> the fentanyl crisis is exactly what they call it—a crisis. Yeah. Um, and uh, but uh, it's it, it's my prayer that. Uh, Coming up, you uh, have the opportunity to learn mm -hmm. maybe from your video. Oh, okay. And people like yourself. Yeah. Um, that, Appreciate uh, it. That this needs to be avoided. Okay. Right. For for a uh, for a community to grow and for for children to grow in a community, it takes a community to raise them. Okay. Right. Each and every one of us is responsible. Okay. And uh, and it, that and believe it or not, you know, 
uh, that does get discussed amongst us. You know, I, I, I can I can admit that uh, I am an addict. You know, okay. and I have been for uh, many decades. Are you actually. homeless or? I you, am or, currently or experiencing place? homelessness. Because okay. we hear true. about a lot about the homeless community in this yeah. area, and yeah. it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. Bigger? Yeah. Oh no, it no? is shrinking. It's shrinking now. Dramatically. Okay. Dramatically, and uh, there's absolutely no, yeah, the homeless community, and that means that there's something going on behind the scenes that we're not quite aware of and have not been able to uh, yeah. uh, really put our finger on. But uh, I would urge anybody out there who, who cares about what, we, Why would what you... we stand for in Canada to, to get active in, in whatever way that they, their, okay. is, their heart is moved. Okay. Um, to, to, to stand up for, for, not for the homeless community themselves, but to stand up for Canada and yeah. what Canada represents. Yeah. And that, that is my wish. Coming together. Okay. Yeah. Why would together. you say it's it's the homeless community shrunk? Is the news lying? Is it? I can't say one way or the other. I, I, I really am not comfortable um, speaking negatively about anything. Okay. You know, I, I believe that each and every one of us uh, makes a great effort to to be uh, to be positive within our communities, but uh, sometimes things like desperation or uh, lack of resources or yeah. things of that nature can can occasionally bring out uh, uh, you know the our not so greatest selves. Yeah, you know, and and that does happen. And it, you do see that in this community at times. Mm -hmm. um, however, I believe, I believe like they believed in 118. Yeah. I believe the same. Same, same thing. For this community. Okay. God bless your heart. Thank you. God so bless much. your soul. Yeah, God bless Thanks for you. your time, brother. You bet. Man. Thank Anytime. you. Thanks. <clears throat> There it is. I like that guy. That guy was super positive. Super positive. We need more people like that in the community. And shit's getting crazy out there. You see that guy there just nodding off there. And, you know, they're getting high on the streets and whatnot. So this is what we're dealing with out here in Edmonton, Alberta. You know? This right here. Yeah. This is the next hood. This is probably the worst area in Edmonton. I don't have to tell you that. I'd be lying if it wasn't. Let me, let's walk down here. <clears throat> you gonna walk down here and then we'll come back up because this is a pretty uh, decent sized community and it's, you know. It's everywhere, G. It's everywhere, G. They're all on the nod and <clears throat> let's walk down. So yeah, this this community is it's always been the more more rugged community. When my mom used to smoke crack and she used to be on drugs, this is the area where she chilled, you know? So the hood I showed you last time, that's where I grew up, right? And uh a lot of people who got sober moved down there. It's more family oriented. It it cleaned up a lot. And uh yeah, this is this is ground zero though, down here. So. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm doing a vlog documentary on the community. You mind saying a few words or no? You got the times? Okay, thank you, man. Have a good day, bro. People are generally, you know, friendly down here, but it could get hectic, you know? Oh, right here. There's people there, you know? 
hey, we're doing a doc I'm doing a little documentary vlog on the neighborhood. Do you mind telling me your story and about the community? Because we hear a lot about it on in the news, but I want to talk to people here and get, you know, get the story from the people, not just from, you know, the news. Would you love to tell your story, ma'am? Yeah. Would you like to, sir? Do you mind I'm being on camera? Okay. What's your name? Amber. Amber, hello, Amber. My name's DZ. Nice to meet you. Hello, what's your name, sir? My name's Carter. Hey, hey, Carter. Sorry, I'm holding the camera with my right. So you mind telling me your story? How how's the neighborhood and how'd you are, are you tell me your story. Just tell me you Okay, my story is basically I'll sum it up like this. I became addicted to opiates early on in my life, about I was about fifteen. Okay. Um, but here's the thing, I was always a functioning act, I always worked. I always did my like did my thing. I have two kids. I always yeah. took care of my responsibilities. Everything, okay. Okay. And then me and my kids' mom broke up for about four years, but we had a good relationship, yeah. sharing the kids back and forth. And then, but we weren't together, and that, that was hard on me, right? So, um, at this point, I hadn't used in four years. Okay. okay. Yeah, we break up. I I relapse down in the city here. Yeah. I had to quit my job in Grand Prairie and cause she moved to the city here, right? Okay. With, with her new boyfriend. You grew up on the country. I, I grew up in Nova Scotia. Oh, okay. And I come over here to work. Okay. Which I always did up until we broke up and uh. I relapsed and after four years of being sober and then I end up doing like a lot of shoplifting to support my habit. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, um, I'm about, to, I'm about to get you out. Wanna hold it? I, I'm about to get out. My hands are full size. What is it? It's oh, a mic. What? It's a microphone. Oh damn, that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's get just, back. Just, just yeah, just hold it. To, let's not get, too close, right here is good. Yeah, let's get yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get okay. back to it. Okay. So now I was boosting to support my habit. Now yeah. the best thing in the world happened. I got caught and I got 14 months. So that was a blessing because uh, I got sober in jail. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, this is two. This is January two thousand twenty-one. Yeah. I'm about to get out in March after fourteen months. Okay. Yeah. All of a sudden, I get called to the head office in the remand, and they say you need to call your mom. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit, something happened to my kids, right? Yeah. And so I call my mom, and she says, Deidre, Deidre got murdered. That's my kid's mom. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I was like, I didn't, anyways, I was, I cried and bawled. And anyway, I went back to my cell. Yeah. I called her sister. She told me the story. She gave a guy a drive to go pick his clothes up. Yeah. He said he went in, did a home invasion. She didn't know. Anyways, it got her dragged into it. And she ended up getting murdered in the basement of the house. Um, it's the south side. Yeah, yeah. Deidre Aldridge and Daniel Grambo, you can look it up on Google. January 21st, 2021, they got murdered on 76th Street and 111th Ave, okay? Um, and so now I was about to get out sober with a clean head, and now I got out, and I didn't know what to say to my kids, okay? No. I wasn't there to help their mom. The worst part was I went on Facebook, and there's messages from her saying, um, I'm at this address. I'm in the basement. I'm, um, they're gonna kill me. Can you come help me? She didn't know I was in jail. Yeah. Cause we were broken up four years. She had a new boyfriend and stuff, right? But yeah. we got along like better than we did when we were together. Yeah. So I'm reading these messages like where she's like, "Where are you? You gotta come. You gotta come help me." And like, I never did finish it because it gets extremely bad, extremely graphic, and. Mm -hmm. Um, they find her phone, but right before they f catch her with her phone, it's, it's, it's just so bad. I can't, so I, I don't even want to, I can't even, I don't, like, I don't want to. So where did it lead up to here, to where you're out here? So, so. Uh, where did it go wrong? That. It hurts, eh? Yeah, it hurts, Pain. but here's the thing. Yeah. I didn't know what to say to my kids if I had been any results in the world. Yeah. Work, working. Kidnap myself anywhere but in jail because I my kids are gonna say how come you weren't there to help my mom yeah 
yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And I didn't know what to say to them other than the truth is what I would have said yeah. to them. But instead, I just went through a lot of self-pity, which was selfish on my part, yeah, but yeah. It, it really fucked me up, okay? Yeah, yeah. So about two months ago, I'm in the alley over here by the bottle depot. Now, my blood brother, actual brother, who's two years older than me, lives right over there. He's sober now. He's a red teal chef in camp. But I don't go there because I don't want to trigger him and set him off, right? Because he used to use two but a long time ago. He sees me, and he's like, yo, where the fuck have you been? I'm like, you need to come to the help, my house right now. Your kids, they won't go to school. They won't do nothing until they talk to you. Yeah. And I was just like, whoa. Yeah. This is a year and a half, two years later. Yeah. Now, I raise them. So they were 12 and 11, and now it's been two years since I've seen them, yeah. okay? So I, I, of course, I went straight to his place. I called them, mm -hmm. and, oh, wow, they sound like little men. Like they're, you know what I mean? And I just straight told them the truth. I'm not going to lie to my kids, right? Yeah. I just straight How told them. How old are they? Um, now they're 14 and 15. Okay. So... I just told him the truth. I said, I was in jail. I wasn't there to help your mom. And it really, it really, it really fucked me up. Well, not. Did you have your kids oh, east or um, over here? No, we were in the Northwest Territories. Oh, She's okay. from the Northwest Territories. Okay. I was on the ice road for 10 years. Okay. Is she native? Um, yeah, yep. her mom's full native and her dad's white. Okay. okay. So um, I, just told, I just told him the straight up yeah. truth. Like, um, and you know, you know what they said? They said, Dad, we lost our mom. We don't want to lose our dad, too. Yeah. And I, that, that made, I get hurt, but that made me feel so good. Because luckily, I was a good enough dad for those 12 years that we were together. Mm -hmm. That they were willing to give me another chance. Which, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so now everything's different. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, like, I'm still using, but I don't want to be... Um, Cause it's not fun, and obviously I got this one more how, chance. How long have you been using for? Well, since that since had. Since Well, well, how much? How long since you relapsed last time? So you got clean. I was and how long oh. since? Oh, oh sorry, bro. how long since? Uh, how long have you been? Are you homeless? You got two to two stay? years since 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 I got out. Yeah. And read those messages on Facebook. Two years. Okay. Yeah. It's been two so years. So when you got out of jail, were you clean? Yeah. Okay. I just did 14 months. Did you, uh, <laughs> did they put you on like Suboxone or you just, you went through a cold turkey? No, I was on methadone. You were on methadone, okay. Yes. Okay. And did you get out where you leaned off completely or? No, when I got out, um, I, I had no plans on using drugs. I was yeah. just clean 14 years. Why would I go back to it? Yeah, yeah. But so then, you did a 14 year set. I did a 14 month stay. 14 months, okay. And yeah. Okay. And but two months, like I said, two months before I was about to get out, that yeah. happens, yeah. and I could have lived with that. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? But then I read the messages online, and oh shit. So do you, how long? Uh, how long you been in the neighborhood here? Oh, too fucking long. Too long. <laughs> but anyways, you know everybody in the neighborhood. The last guy we talked to down there, he's like. This is a community. Everybody knows everybody. It's the hood, you know. Okay, it it it's a community. Everyone pretty much does know everybody. Yeah. But it's not, it's not like it's. It's not friendly. Is this a tough no, place? Nobody looks after each other here. Yeah, yeah. I lived all across Canada. I spent four years in Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Um, just, just hold on a second here, okay? Um, and I've been at. <laughs> Like that song, I've been everywhere. I've I've been, I've been everywhere, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. It was country, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know if you know it, but yeah. I'm the same way. Are these people inside? Is this a, is this um uh, uh where you can uh shoot? What does they call it? It's, yeah, there's a, a there's a safe injection site. Safe here. injection, yeah. Yes, safe sir. injection. Yes, this sir. is a safe injection site. Yes, yeah. sir. So this is why there's so much activity around here. Yes. Sir. And there's so much people around here and there's all this, you know? Yes. Okay. Well, there's not always a big lineup, but I mean, here's the thing. So how is it inside there? You think they'd be friendly to cameras if I went in there and Well, and I said, you know, I'm I'm doing a, a documentary on the community, and, you know? Pro yeah, because I mean, the reason I come here is because the the counselors and the doctors here yeah. actually care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, like, you go to the Royal Alec or the U of A, and they don't. Yeah, yeah. They treat you like shit. Soon as they see you're a drug addict, oh yeah. shit. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's some next shit. That is, like, yeah, here, yeah. here, there's some people, like, there is some good people here. Yeah. Like, those washrooms and stuff over there, mm-hmm. you know who that's paid for? You know who paid for that? Who? All, all the doctors all here. People, all, yeah. No, all the doctors here chip in and pay for that. The, oh, no go, the government, yeah, yeah, the government yeah, yeah. doesn't pay for that. They're very um, loving people, caring people. Yes. Yes. And a lot of doctors, yeah. they they look after you, but yeah, yeah. may at at the end of the day, they care about their paycheck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's there's some caseworkers and stuff in here, man. That yeah. I I I can't believe that the, just how how much they 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 care about yeah. people like us, right? Yeah. And the thing that I, the biggest thing I learned being down here though, is there are some good people down here. Yeah, yeah. And they, they, they just got, a lot of them actually, to be honest, were too nice and they end up getting fucked over. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but there's some good people down here. But there's also another problem where because of this drug, there's a lot of, there's, there's, there's a lot, there, yes. A lot of death. There's a lot of death. But there's a lot of stealing from me from people stealing from each other to support their habit. Yes, but the what thing- about the meth? Does meth make them crazy too? And oh, that's meth. a whole yeah, other thing. Meth. What's your name, sir? Meth. I'm doing a documentary on the name. Meth Some people. But Terry, here, don't you don't you find this? I know people that smoke meth for forty years and they're sharp as a tack. Mm-hmm. Other people that I become I was friends with, six months later. Uh, <laughs> yo, this is tough. This 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 whole thing is tough. I'll take my glove out. <laughs> Thank you, oh, look, brother. Not, not a scratch on it. Yeah. Where's the place I can buy some gloves around here? Um Is there a corner store up here or something? Yeah, I don't even know if they sell gloves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, that's another problem. Like, yeah. All the corner stores around here, like the one across from uh, the Hope, yeah. that one really bothers me. Yeah. Because it's directly across yeah, from. Directly across from a from a homeless shelter, they got a store which is great, but yeah. mostly what's in there is drug paraphernalia and weapons to kill each other. Yeah. Where where is this? All the stores around here. Oh okay yeah. Okay, not so just, they kind of fuel it. Well, yeah, and, and, and not Cause only... Because they got the weapons, they got the pipes, they the got... Drug store, pharmacies, uh, uh, liquor stores, and this, it's it's like it's like any town. Yeah. Like, uh, like, it was like the town I lived in Chicago. It's yeah. like the town, it's like any, 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 any hood is always full of pharmacies, liquor stores, like... <gasps> the shit to kill you, to help you kill you. The shit... To help add so when you get your fucking fire. check, come here and you well, go buy all the shit to. You get check and you get up that morning and you walk out the door. What's yeah. directly across? How much? <laughs> how much friends you had dial here for fentanyl? Bro, I can't even count. Bro, bro I stopped counting at like four or five because <laughs> I could, I, 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 yeah. I could, I, I can't. You can't count. handle it. I can't. Oh, count. I can't have you ever OD before? I can't count. Have you ever OD? 165 people a year. Yeah. Yeah. What? Huh? Wait, in Edmonton, Alberta, I think it's more than that in, in Alberta. It's around an average is around fifteen hundred a year. Oh. Yeah. You you have a story you want to tell, brother? A story? Yeah. What I'm just doing a documentary on the community. What kind of things you want to hear, man? Yeah. And the problem is with oh. housing, yeah. it doesn't happen quick enough. Mm-hmm. And the cops, like, they just. It's, it's How are the cops treat you guys down here? They treat us like they treat, shit. Treat, holy fuck! They don't treat you guys because they treat you like shit too, right? And the, but the funny thing is, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and just go on about it yeah. because, I mean, th- there's there's shit, there's a lot of women going missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of rape been happening. There's yeah. Of, there's, it's, it's, it's a fact that a professor in Toronto, I read this in the paper, said there's at least three active serial killers in Edmonton right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, this, you can look, you can look out. Just can you get, can you give me one second, please? I'm trying to talk. Like you're just being a little bit rude. Just give me a sec. Yeah. And they're it like they should be working on that. You know yeah. what I mean? Not trying yeah. to. 
Did you, hear, did you see what they tried to do on uh, December 18th, right before Christmas? Yeah. They tried to clean, they tried to kick everyone out of their tent and take what little bit they had. Yeah, yeah. And then thankfully some lawyers filed an emergency injunction and got that stopped, thank God. But they still did it after yeah. Christmas. But I mean, I mean, that was a planned thing. And I mean, that, yeah, that's yeah. kind of like real malicious. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? To do that, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, Look where anywhere where there's a field where you can put a tent. It's, yeah, yeah, look, yeah. It's, it's fenced off, right? Yeah. So I mean, and if you read your our chapter seven charter rights, would you mind if going in there and we see have if they'd like an interview in there? We have a right to survive. Yeah. Our chapter seven charter rights gives us a right to survive. Yeah. If you, if S, yeah, I'll do that for you. Okay. SPCA, if they pick up a dog. Yeah. They get a warm cage to go to. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You don't. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, 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 they yeah. They tell us go to the shelter. There's like 3,000 homeless people here, and there's only... There's not one. enough room. There's not even half enough room. Yeah. Let me get back to you. I got to get some gloves, bro. Yeah, it's... I'm going to get it, some flashlight. It's, chill, it's chill yo, Yeah, here. yeah. All right, bro. Thanks for your story, brother. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for your story, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Keep a look out for this. But, I mean, like, with all those things put together, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You can see, like, it leads to... Yeah, it leads to bullshit. Leads to fucking uh, nothing getting done. Yeah. Except more people dying. Yeah. And so if I go to the front and ask for gloves, will you, will you take the gloves from the front? Do they got free gloves in there? Yeah, they free gloves. Yo, link me some free gloves. I'll get some free gloves. Fuck yeah. Everything. Do they got free gloves in there for real? Yeah, they should. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, is this? Is these? What is this? Oh, these are too thick, brother. Yeah, I need to hold this. I get a little bit of room. And what really sucks is there's, it's not all just a bunch of, a fucking, of uh, criminal fucking. I don't give a fuck. Like yeah. Uh, Nobody, nobody grows up wanting to be a, a homeless drug addict. Nobody. Yep. Nobody. Yeah, nobody. Does anybody? I don't nobody I ever is spying for I that. I didn't. You know no, what I mean? No. Yeah, fuck no. And like a lot, a lot of these. Like to have a hood if you want to wash it. Like, I, uh, okay. Hood. And a, a lot of people are, 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 there's some good people down here. And these aren't just people, these aren't people with no families and stuff that are dying. Like yeah. Half these people are, like, I go down to Twilliger and Ellerslie a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are, those are rich, good communities, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, take, you should, someday, you go yourself, take your camera, go down, and go go take a walk through the parks and stuff down there. Yeah, it's okay. like a completely different world from down here. Yeah, it is, but... It's like, it feels like it, a different city. It, well, it pretty much is. Yeah, but, yeah. But the funny thing is, there's tin foils and stuff. Those rich people are doing it too. Everywhere. Those well, rich people are doing it too. Uh, yes, this isn't just uh, people with no family problems. They say a yeah. lot of these deaths are white people who grew up with very in very good homes. Yeah. Who gra a lot of them graduate? Like you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's not just. Uh, what I'm trying to say is it, it's it's everywhere. I'm doing a vlog documentary about the people in the neighborhood because you hear about it on the news all the time. Okay. So I just want to get, like, people on the ground and see what they have to say. Like, no judgment. I'm not here to, like, okay. paint a narrative or a story or anything. I just want to hear, like, okay. people's stories and stuff like that. Do you mind being on camera? Uh, yeah. I don't, uh, so, sorry. sorry. I, before yeah, I put you on I don't want to yeah, just put you on camera. No, I'd rather not be. Okay. Um, I just... We try not to have people filming on our property okay. is the only issue. Okay, okay. Um, just because we don't want to be, like, affiliated with anything that might come out that okay. maybe we don't... I'm not saying what you're doing okay. is wrong okay, by okay. any means. Okay, okay. Understandable. Yeah, Understandable. Just, if something comes out and then it, it, our building is in it, it looks like maybe we support something. I that, get what you're You know what I mean? I actually wanted yeah. to come in and just have a... Like, this ain't nothing... Yeah. Like, I'm not saying this is sponsored by this. This is completely, yeah, like, me, hey, right? No, no. What's like, people are doing this, like, you know, yeah. I just, you see it, people doing it in Los Angeles and hear their story, but we yeah. got a problem here in Edmonton and Alberta, too. Absolutely. So yeah. I, I want to get out here and bring awareness to the cause, and get, let's hear these people. Because yeah. these, these, ain't, these, these, it's, they're just not a number. These people have faces, no, they have families, and stuff I, like that, too, right? Yeah. So, like, well, I grew up bro. in the hood, like, you know? Tell you about this place, yeah, yeah, why, yeah. Why, why a lot of people come here, why I come yeah. here. Because there's people in just here. Good people. What, what do they say? The yeah. people in here actually care ab ab yeah. ab about us, ab yeah. about, about people in general, right? Yeah, yeah. And, like, they do. Yeah. And I said, if you go to the hospital, once they find out you're a drug addict, remember, we just talked. They do. It's a fact. 
So, I mean, but there's pe there's some good people yeah. in here, caseworkers, doctors, like, there's some really, really good people in yeah. here that care about people, even though they're this, like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, it's, uh, and then, yeah, there's... Well, that's I, nice. Oh. So I, we appreciate you. Well, there's... Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. A it's a fact. Like, yeah. look at Michelle, like, uh, that caseworker, like, man, she right. goes above and beyond her job. Like, it, it's just, yeah. yeah, like, that's, that's personally, like, and then there's people that want to shut these injection sites down. Like, yeah, so yeah, where do yeah, they think yeah. all those rigs that they collect every? Where are they going to go? Well, that, yeah, they're going to go in the freaking stop. sand and shit, and kids they're are going to play in them. They're going and back to the freaking the HIV rate goes bro, up because yes. they're all fucking sharing needles. They're and going shit like back that. to the washroom. I, I was they're just going. watching something in like San Francisco, and the girl was mad that they don't get safe in. But it's like, yo, those needles. How do you reduce the HIV and the hepatitis C? These those, guys are going to share needles if they can't get clean ones, right? Because they, yeah. they need to have it. They those needles it, are going so. somewhere. Yeah. So they where are they going yeah. then? They're going back out on the street. Yeah, exactly, right? So, I mean, that's a gist of it. I understand what you're doing, <laughs> yeah. and I support it. I'm yeah. not, like, trying to... I just, if you could go off the property okay. when you're doing the interview. What about the in the place? front and the public sidewalk? That's a on public sidewalk. the public sidewalk, sidewalk is fine. Yeah, yeah, I know this is like, yeah. Yeah, like if you want to, it's just on our property. Okay, Try okay. This is a general rule. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not saying you're doing okay. anything wrong. I appreciate okay. you giving people a yeah. voice. I think that's great. Okay. And I didn't just, mention like, Okay, thank you. Okay? No problem, no I problem. It. Yeah, yeah, have a good day, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So this is what we're doing is, how long you been hooked for? Okay. Uh, I've been doing opioids since 2011. How did you get on them? I tried one Percocet. Uh, I, I was hungover after getting out of the penitentiary. Yeah. And that was it. I was pretty much hooked on the fucking yeah. stuff. You know, so, Here you are. How long you been homeless? I've been homeless for four years now. Have you always lived in this neighborhood when you're homeless? Or? No. No. I came here in 2021 after I got shot on the west side of Hamilton. Okay. But yeah, this is some green fentanyl. People have been dropping from this shit, but there's fuck off, man. Yeah. It's not like the movies? Well, it's not like the movies when people go crazy. And yeah, yeah. It, it can be. Like, there's people out there that go Have crazy. you ever overdosed? Well, yeah, a couple yeah, times. A couple times, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. man, but yeah. Have you lost any friends? Well, honestly, man, I hate to say it, but I lost yeah. two of my closest, like... To, to, the, to the fentanyl? I, yeah, I call yeah. my brothers, bro. Yeah. And it sucks because it, it really Are changed. you from Edmonton again? Uh, I'm actually from a little reserve up north called Driftpile. Oh, okay. But here it is. Is it Cree or? Yeah. Yeah? I'm Cree. Okay. And, uh. I have friends, but you know what? When I'm using, I do not go by them, I do not talk to them, I do not associate with them. It's, yeah. It's, it's sad because. My stepdad tell me all the time, he said, like, bro, out of all the kids that need the most, he's like, yeah. you need the most help, he's like, bro, you don't ask me for fuck off. Yeah. My, and my dad, I'm not gonna lie, he, he, in assets, he's a millionaire. Yeah. He can give me anything he wants. But yo, let time. me, uh, I need to get some gloves, like, I'm about to get yeah. some frostbite, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, doc. Oh, do yeah. Thanks for your story, thanks for your time, bro. Thanks for your time, bro. Yeah. Got some gloves. Had to get me a little something to eat too. I was freaking hungry, man. But yeah, let's finish this vlog and let's see what the people uh downtown Edmonton, Chinatown, Edmonton gotta say. See that auto body repair shop there. I think it was last summer or something. Last summer. Yeah, some freaking uh meth head tweaker. Stabbed this old uh, Chinese dude. He was just like, he was old too, like 70 something, 75. 
he was a week away from retiring and he stabbed him up just on some drug fueled rage ish you know what i'm saying and uh let me walk up a little bit closer and then ever since that day they were like uh yeah we're gonna put uh more uh, police down here there's gonna be more of a police presence da 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 da, da this that that's the but why should it take a a fucking old man getting killed for you guys to carry, right? But uh, let's go. I'm documenting in the neighborhood. I'm documenting in the neighborhood. I want to get people's stories and uh, see. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm not getting you on camera. I'm not. If, do you wanna do you wanna tell your story, sir? What's your name? Sorry, what's your name? Ronan. What is that? It's a camera. It's a pocket camera. Yes, a what? A pocket camera. Do you mind being on camera? Yeah. 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 All right, man. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Ah, these guys ain't too fond for cameras, right? One of my bros got shot here at the side here. All happy. It's like uh, one of the only places that are open on the weekend, open late night. So people go there after the club and uh, yeah, he was shot there. Some guys smoked him. He survived that too. Smoking. Smoking fentanyl on the fucking sidewalk there. People with mental issues. And Off. Hey, what's up? Do you work down here? No. Do you stay down here? Do you live down here? Do you have a house down here? No, I stay here. Oh, you stay here in the thing, yeah. I'm just documenting the yeah, community. No, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to tell your story? What's your name? My name's Brandon. My name's Brandon? Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you, Deezy. I just want to talk to you. What's your name? Deezy. Deezy? Yeah. Thanks I'm a rapper. This. Yeah. Rapper, yeah. Thanks for coming. Hey, um, I'd like to, but I'd like to be able to sit down somewhere. Yeah. Sometime and do it. So can we make? Yeah, yeah, can we, we can sit down. Yeah, we could do that. When would you like to do that? Uh, I right now. Do, no, no right now. Not right now. Do you have? Uh, do you, do you want to make a plan? Uh, we can make a plan. Give me your number and I'll call you. I don't you. have a phone either. You don't have a phone That's either. Buddy, I'm destitute. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. You yeah. know what? But today was the most productive and beautiful day I've ever had. Yeah. I met some really good people. Yeah. They helped me get my. I got my ID today. I got onto SFI so I can get a check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I'm getting my Alberta health. You're getting your shit together. But one person okay. did all of that. I met one person. Yeah, yeah. And from that one person, it's like God. Did they? Do they work in no, here? No, they no? don't. Oh no way. No, they don't. Yeah. But because I went to do something to get ID here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I when I left here, mm -hmm. I ran into that person. Okay. It's like you know serendipity. No, I never serendipity heard of is like no serendipity is a thing. Oh, it's a thing. Like true love or okay. something is meant to be is serendipitous. Oh, okay, serendipity. I have to look it up. And that's yeah. what it was. Oh, it was something like, meant to be. It fate. was like I was meant to meet this yeah. man today because yeah. I've met this man. All these beautiful things happened to me today. Yeah, yeah. And my friend, for the last two years, of my life has been nothing but shit. It's been bad. fucking shit. Are you from nothing. Edmonton? Yeah, man. I'm yeah, born and raised. Born and raised. I went, to, I went to Skona. Okay. How did you end up down here? Circumstance. Circumstances, you know, eh? Yeah, yeah, Involved yeah. in bad things. Yeah. And just Took like, a wrong turn. You know how they say a, ga a gathering stone gathers moss? Yeah. Right? Well, that can go both ways. It can be productive and it can be negative. Yeah, yeah. And my, my, my stone got negative. And negative after negative after negative after negative. You get to a spot where you're down, right? Yeah, yeah. And you don't think you can get back up. And that's what life is like, right? Yeah. You gotta fight. It's hard. It's yeah, boxing. Fight. Yeah, it's a boxing yeah. match. You fall yeah. down seven times, you get up eight. Yeah, yeah. Michael fucking Jordan. Fuck yeah. That's who said fucking that. Fucking A. In his autobiography. Yeah, you fall yeah, down yeah. seven times, you get you up eight. You a basketball fan? Ah, I like Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah, I like, like yeah. Who doesn't? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But honestly, this time he's, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get up an eighth time. For real, eh? Like but, it, was, but it's happening. It's sure just, enough, but it's happening. It's one small little yeah, yeah. interaction with one person. Yeah. You did know? you uh were you hooked on drugs like That's many of the people did, yeah crack yeah. crack or crack. fentanyl or crack. no just crack i'm old school yeah old school yeah yeah i was just saying this when i walked up i said because back in the day when i was young, i used to hustle and stuff like that on the north side in abbotsfield yeah. 
and it used to be all crack. That's it was just crack and coke, and that's every yeah, all. That's all it is. Bam, there was meth a little bit, but it was down here. Yeah, down, it was like no such thing as yeah, and crack. It's all no, meth it's all fucking meth and now. Fentanyl. Yeah, yeah, shit that'll kill you. Yeah, exactly. You and they're and they're fucking dying too. Like flies. Yeah, like flies. The, the, the ambulance and the fire department is here five or six times a day. Yeah, yeah. Minimum. Minimum. Minimum yeah. because people are not ODing. They're how much do you think? They, how much do you think people OD like bunch every five times a day? There's it's down here. Yeah. How much? How much of those I, people are dying? I'm here? Yeah. I bet you five out of the five are dying. Damn. Fuck. Hey. I bet you a day. They don't even tell you about. It. I bet you easily fifty or a hundred people a day. Damn. Yeah. Are ODing and I bet you at least half yeah. of those people are dying. The numbers are screwed on the news. They don't want to tell you no. about it because then people will care. They'll give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want you to be a sheep. Yeah. They don't want you to be a person. They want you to be sheeple. Yeah. Follow sheeple. the masses. Yeah. Do as Trudeau. Yeah. Drew is not. Like, do as what yeah. they do. What You're they right. say. Be a good little yeah. minion. Yeah. Right. Be a good little, little soldier. Yeah. Go to work. Make your paycheck. Pay your pay taxes. Exactly. Fucking this a. Shit, you know, the shit they don't care about. They no. want us to die. To die, yeah. That's well, why, why do they keep bringing it in here? So they can yeah. kill us off? Yeah, like, and it's the Chinese bringing it in here. What's well, everybody? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's not... The Mex yeah, well, it's, it's, it's it, everybody's it's got a, their hands in it, right? Right. And it, everybody's it all, got blood in their hands. It all starts at start the top. Nobody yeah, yeah. can do anything without the top saying yeah, so, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's got a worker bee, right? Yeah, yeah. You know you have a job? Right? You yeah. work for somebody. Yeah. You own a record label? You, you work, work for, for that record yeah. label, right? You know, you do yeah, exactly. you what you do what you have to, to do. You do, do what yeah. you're told, right? And even though sometimes you don't like it and you don't want to do it, yeah. You still gotta bend do over it. and do it. And take it right up the ass because if you don't, all of a sudden you could be here and yeah. this could be you. Yeah. By the grace of God, brother, you don't wanna be here and you don't want this to be you. Fuck no. And I'm trying to spread awareness about the community and stuff to. like that. And More you know, because we to. hear about Vancouver and this, that, but we got our own problems here and you know, it's all across at least Canada. Doing, at least they're doing something to try and change it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, fuck all, all here. here. No. Nothing to change yeah. it here. They don't even let, you know, a month ago there'd be tents all up and down the street. Yeah, they yeah. don't even let you set up tents anymore. Yeah. Right? Because this is a zero tolerance building. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? No alcohol, no drugs. You can't come in if you're intoxicated. Oh, so that's good. So how long you been here then? Uh, I've been homeless for two years, so I've been yeah. staying here for about five days. Oh, that's good then, yo. Yeah. Because some people don't like to come here because... I don't. Be but, like, I, nobody really wants to fucking no, be here. No, no. But I'm saying, like, there's some people who are on the streets, but they're like, why don't you go to, like, a shelter because they can't get high in there, right? Some people are like that, right? Well, yeah. So, yeah, but, yeah. You know, you can't smoke cigarettes. Yeah. You can't, you can't go outside to have a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. It's like being in lockdown. Yeah. In, in, it's like being in jail. Yeah. Right? But I'm grateful because I don't have to sleep outside tonight. Mm hmm it's cold. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm yeah. old. I don't want to sleep outside. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm in here, I may have to deal with some fuckheads. But at least yeah. I know. When's the last time you smoked uh, rocks? Honestly, I got high five days ago. Okay. Okay. But five days ago, and from today to five days, that's a good period. Yeah, for that's me. yeah, yeah. That's five days. And that shit's hard know? to kick, man. That's it's like anything else. That's five days. <coughs> yeah. That I did, you know. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I take day by day, right? <coughs> yeah. But I'm glad you're doing this, bro. Okay. Uh, where can I? You'll be here. How long will you be you know here what? for? I'm gonna be up. I'm gonna be out front by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I gotta go see this lady over at the over at the Are other building. Are you usually up by 10 or? Not normally, What's... but I am. What about tomorrow. Sunday? I, I can be here at a time 10 o'clock okay. Sunday in the morning. You Sunday. can tell me tell me how your about, story from. About, okay. How about we meet here at, at noon? At the front door right there on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. 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 For noon, sure. 12. All right. 100. All right. Okay. Easy. Nice right. talking to you. Thank you. you. And I'll happily tell you my story. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. So there we go. People want to spread, uh, tell their story in here because these people don't really got a voice out here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, everybody else got voices, but except for the people down here. What are you Hello? Oh, okay. You guys okay? Okay. Can you get some snacks? Pardon? Yeah. Snacks? Yeah, I'm hungry. <coughs> Hello. Got it. Sorry. Have a good day, you guys. I'm happy to see you. Good girlfriend.
Huh? I'm gonna go do a documentary on the neighborhood, bro. Yeah, but it's, you gotta be careful, right? Yeah, I know. Because if they see you filming? They might freak out and poke me up, eh? Do you work down here? Sure do. Yeah, how long you been in the neighborhood? Do you mind being on camera? No. no. No? How long you been in the neighborhood? Quite a while. Quite a while, eh? <clears throat> so has it got worse over the years? So my mom used to uh, chill down by the York Hotel. Who's your mom? Uh, she's clean now. She's she lives in Abbotsfield. I'm from Abbotsfield. Yeah, I'm from Mayfield. Yeah, that's where I grew up. Yeah. Yeah. You know my brother? Last no. Name. Uh, yeah. Just be careful when you're filming. Okay, okay bro. All right, man. Take care, bro. You heard it right from the bird's mouth, bro. You gotta watch these. These guys will fuck you up, nigga. They will straight fuck you up. They don't fucking play that shit down here, bro. He don't fucking play that shit. So, gotta watch out down here. Be cool. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't like being filmed. So, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna wait for bro out here because he said we're gonna do an interview. And then I'll open the camera back up. I don't wanna, you know, start any trouble. <laughs> so, bro didn't show up. He's kind of expecting that. You know? Yeah, man, down here, downtown Chinatown. Yeah, right on. And that fucking guy talking about people getting stabbed, he's not fucking lying, bro. Like I told you, that freaking meth had stabbed some like old man he, and he was like a week away from retiring bro these guys don't think bro and they me being DZ, they don't give a fuck they don't even know who their fucking mom is bro they're they're dealing with mental issues and all types so they'll they'll stab you bro 100 they'll stab you bro it's like that over here for real for real See summertime, you'll see this whole fucking thing filled up with tents. Summertime. Yeah, it's bad here in the summertime, but oh man, I hate to be homeless in uh Edmonton. I'd be the worst, bro. I'm gonna message my bro kid and see if he's at the shop. Because he he could probably talk to us and uh Are you in the hood right now? I'm in the hood right now. Are you in the shop? I wanna come say hi. We'll see what my bro is saying and seeing if he can let me in the shop there. I'm fucking hungry as shit, bro. Oh man, maybe I should get a bun me, bro. Get me a bun me. This these this bun me right here, it was fucking lit, bro. For the longest time, five dollars for a freaking bun me, bro, for a sandwich all the time. Five oh five because of tax, but five dollar bun me's, but. Since the inflation and all that fucking shit went up. Since the inflation and all that fucking shit went up. Yeah, they have to raise the price of the bummy, I think a dollar or two. Yeah, bro. COVID. You know how COVID fucked everything up. Let's go in here and get a bummy. Ooh, it's busy in here. Hello. Money, money. I'm gonna get the shredded pork. I like this one. That's good, though.
Yeah, so my bro ain't at the jewelry store right now. He said he'll be there next week. It's his daughter's birthday party, so I'll probably come here next week. I want to do a documentary about him. He owns a jewelry store. He started making grills out of his van, out of his van, like literally like from the mud. Like the nigga got it from the mud. So I want to go up there. I want to give him his story, and then uh, maybe he can tell us so-and-so about whatever, you know? But um, this is it for this video, downtown Chinatown. Next hood, we be hitting up uh, 118 app, so let's get it, bro. I'm out.